<laughs> Are you actually jealous of the cats? That's really cute, Daddy. <laughs> so what do you what do I have to do to get you to forgive me for my little affair? Meow for me. Meow. <laughs> That's weird. I feel hungry, but it's a different sort of hunger. <laughs> Just the taste, Danny. No, you can't. Oh, okay. Dang. <laughs> I, I swear I did not click the screen yet. Yeah, it's been months since I played because I wasn't sure if I was going to continue playing this. Alright, next I'd like to discuss guidelines for how to proceed when a witch is savage or Request a summoning without having submitted an application in advance. It's been so long. And I just jumped right into this. But you know, it's fine. We're gonna jump right into it. I don't believe I had to hang up on Danny to come to this thing. I mean, it's been forever since we've been able to talk. Oh, so it was your turn to call this time, Ammon. That means I'm up next. Hey, whoa, hold on. We barely even got to talk before we cut off. Oh, you poor baby. <laughs> what are you getting at, Mammon? What I'm getting at is that I should get another chance to... Nope, you had your turn, Mammon, which means build up next. Hey, come on, give me a break. Give me a break? Mammon, do you have a problem with the guidelines Diavalo has laid out for us? Oh my gosh. No, no, like, I think they're great, totally. I mean, I'm a big fan of guidelines, love them. Give me some more guidelines is, is what I always say. Mammon. <laughs> you weren't listening to anything Diavalo said just now, were you? Honestly, I can't believe that. Huh? Eh? Oh, it's me, Solomon, popping up. What? What? Something is coming out of that thing. Wait, is that... Go! <laughs> Whoops, mm -hmm. sorry about that, Danny. I really should have warned you to be careful where you land. Danny? Solomon? Ah! Uh, what? 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 <laughs> Is this really? Are you really? 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 Huh? Daddy, it's you! It's really you! Wait, what? Huh? I know you miss me and all, but this is just crazy. <laughs> Daddy, do you want to tell me why you just appeared out of thin air and landed on my head? <laughs> I can't believe you didn't catch me. Catch you? How exactly was I supposed to do that? It's not like you gave me any warning that you were about to come tumbling down to me. But if you'd known that was coming, you would've just moved out the way. You shut up. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Danny, it's really you. Wait, you didn't perform some sort of unsavory ritual to cast your soul down here, did you? You better not have. <laughs> um, I can't believe <laughs> Wait, I hope I did. Oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> I can't believe you're actually back here with us again. Yes, this is really... This really is quite the happy surprise. It's good to see you again, Danny. Danny, what are you doing here? Actually, wait. I'm glad to see that you seem to have been doing well. Honestly, Danny, you could have at least let us know you were coming. Surprise! <laughs> Is this no big deal to you or something? Ugh, I don't believe this. If I had known Danny was coming, I would have opted for a much 
more thorough shower routine this morning. Why? <laughs> what does Danny showing up have to do with your shower routine? <laughs> Just ignore him, Bill. Whatever Asbel has to say is not worth it. <laughs> How rude of you, Belfie. Listen, I am curious to know why you're here. But before we get into that, are you going to be staying for a while? Because if so, you'll stay at the house limitation, right? Oh, but wait, I bet your room's covered in dust. <laughs> uh. No problem. Danny can just sleep in our room. Wait, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should stay in my room. We can watch anime together. I got a huge backlog of it. Ooh, and there are so many figurines I've been wanting to show you. Hmm. <laughs> Now they're arguing over whose room we're going to stay in. Huh? What's happening? <laughs> I have to say, Solomon, this is more than a little unexpected. I can't believe you showed up here unannounced with Danny in tow. Yes, I have to agree. It's a bit, well, it's a bit unlike you do this sort of thing, isn't it, Solomon? You mean to say you're not happy about our surprise visit? I didn't mean to cause trouble. I just thought this would be a nice way to brighten everyone's day. Well, naturally, it's wonderful to see you both again. However, I'm afraid that we're in the middle of a meeting at the moment. This is a busy period for us at right here at Rad. I know we all have a lot of catching up to do, but perhaps it can wait until later. What do you say, Lucifer? Yes, of course. We can continue this after the meeting. Danny, here, take this. It's the key to the house limitation. You head back there now while we finish up our business here. Really? You're giving me the key to the house? Why do you sound so surprised? After all, the house limitation is your home as well, right? Welcome back to Double Dome, Danny. Seems like Mammon and others are as much of much of a handful as ever, huh? Is it just me or does it seem like Lucifer has grown a few more lines on his forehead since we last saw him? Uh, he didn't look any different than me. I don't know. <laughs> Do you mean that in a good way? I can't tell. Well, here we are. You're home in the Devil Dome. Do you remember the first time you ever came here, Danny? <laughs> Flashbacks now. I'm not reading this. So. Mamma looked after me when I was new here. Yes, he did. But only after Lucifer told him he had to, right? Okay, and... <laughs> he looking after me now. I can almost picture it. I bet he complained non-stop. Oh my gosh, what is it? Not a okay, I was about to say. Like, come on now. <laughs> well, I'll be going now. Reminiscing with you like this has reminded me of how much I miss this place. I'm going to head over to Purgatory Hall and have a look around. Take care, Danny. You've been gone a long time, but you're finally back home, so enjoy the moment. Well, there goes Solomon. Hmm, I wonder what drove him to come back here to the Devil Dome. I wonder. What is it? We're home! Danny, are you here? You're here, right? You didn't go scampering back to the human world. Good. <laughs> so, what do you want for dinner, Danny? <laughs> Obviously, you like some good devil dumb cooking, right? Or we can have human world food if if, if you want. As long as you make it yourself, that is. <laughs> really, Danny, you have no idea how much the trip back here from Rad tested my patience. <laughs> they decided that since it's your first night back, we should have something you really like for dinner. Which was a fine idea, but... The problem is that they can't agree on what to make for you, as you can see. 
Oh, that talk of food made me ho so hungry. I thought I was gonna roll over and die. See, I'm gonna have to eat after this video now, cause you're making me hungry. <laughs> Pisces gang. <laughs> so, what do you want for dinner, Danny? Let's hear it. I don't know, I guess I just do human world food, bro. Why not? I'll cook. See, what'd I tell you? I knew Danny was in the mood for human world food. I could just tell. Come on, everyone, stop. Enough talking about food. Are you trying to kill me? I don't care what we have at this point. Make all of it before Bill loses control and goes on a rampage. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Honestly, all it takes is Danny coming back to dub with them and suddenly all, all of you have lost it. I mean, really. You need to learn to maintain at least a semblance of composure. Wow, I don't believe what I'm hearing. I'm surprised you had the nerve to pretend as if you, uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> as if you and you alone managed to keep your cool. Yeah, exactly. You've been all restless and excited ever since Danny showed up, and you know. <laughs> well, to be fair, he's not the only one. I mean, after. Danny left the meeting, all eight of us were so amped up that we could barely sit still. <laughs> sure, but no one lost their cool as much as Lucifer. Oh, really, Lucifer? Tell me. <laughs> Tell me, Satan. He started talking a mile a minute, going off on tangents and babbling about stuff that had nothing to do with meaning. <laughs> yup, eventually, Diavolo couldn't take it anymore. He said it was clear that we weren't going to get... <laughs> going to be able to get anything done, so he says... <laughs> Which I thought was great, since I was hungry and all. You're all wrong. I, did, I didn't speed up our meeting because I was restless, restless or excited or amped up. It's just that Diavolo's time is precious and I didn't want to use any more of it that was necessary. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say, Lucifer. We'll just leave it at that. Yo, Bill, check it out. I got a little something here for you to sample. It's soup, my own special recipe. Listen to this. I added a secret ingredient that really... Dang. Hey, what the... I didn't say you could eat the whole thing. God dang, man. <laughs> Danny, check it out. I got some of the soup I made here. Go on, try some. It's real good. Wait a minute. I thought Bill wolfed out all of your soup earlier. How is it that you have more? Oh, he made another badge. Crying the whole time, I might- <laughs> Hey, I wasn't crying. Wait, I thought this soup tasted sort of strange. Do you think it's because Mammon cried into it? Blech. Oh my gosh. Actually, tears aren't the worst thing that could be in there. You never know the strange flavor could be mucus. Oh gosh. I bet a lot of other stuff ended up in there too, uh. Hey, you guys are super rude, you know that? <laughs> you know what, man, but I'm just gonna say, you know, none of that bothers me, man. None of me. <laughs> Don't insult me about being a human, but whatever. See, I do what I was right about you, Danny. You may be a human, but you've got sense. All of you. You're being too loud. Can't you at least settle down and behave yourselves while you're eating? Well, you can't really blame us for being excited, can you? Tonight's a very special night after all. Isn't that right, Danny? Huh? Right, Danny? You agree with me, right, Danny? You sound like a six-year-old asthma. Hey, Danny, there's something cool I want to show you. Ta-da! Check it out. It's a gold hellfire newt syrup. It just arrived from Akizan. Huh? It was pretty expensive, but I just had to buy a bottle. And I'm going to display it in my room so I can admire it every day. Really? You're going to display an empty bottle? Empty? What do you mean? It just arrived today, Lucifer. There's no way it could be in- God! It, it is empty! It's empty! Oh yeah. That's because I used it in my soup. That's- Oh! Man, man. Oh my gosh. Like, 
I thought new extract would sound it kind of good, so I went ahead and dumped it in. Then you had to use all of it? It's not Newt Asterisk, it's Newt Syrup. And like, I brought off Akazar myself, it was mine, so why did you use it? Unbelievable, you had to know it wasn't yours to take, and you thief, you giant scummy moron. Hey, it's your fault for leaving it lying around where anyone could find it. I don't know what that Newt is, so I'm just gonna ask, wait, was that? So that was Gold Hellfire what again? Uh huh. You see, Hellfire Newt Syrup is a real life product modeled after Dragon Fog from TSL. T. Yeah, the secret remedy of Dragon. Drago Folk? So you're saying it's a vanity item for nerds? <laughs> hey, no, come on. Listen to what I'm, what I'm telling you. Oh, wait, I've actually heard of it. It's made using newts that caught fire and burned to a crisp in the human world. And were later reincarnated here in the devil dome, right? Bingo. Oh, so that's why it tasted funny. Okay, so what is the syrup of yours supposed to do exactly? Uh, Levi? That wasn't regular hellfire newt soup. It was the gold version, which is supposed to. What? Hmm? Bro, what you got me eating, bro? Oh my gosh. What is it, Levi? Your face is bright red. N n n nothing is nothing. Listen, Danny, whatever you do, stay away from my room. You got that? Stay away. <laughs> huh? What the hell is God in <laughs> Oh, gosh. Hmm. Huh. Oh, Danny, fancy meeting you here. So what brings you to the library? Would you happen to be <laughs> here looking for information about stuff from earlier? Of course. Yep. The effects of Levi's food. Yep, I thought so. Me too. I know a reference book that would probably have information about what the syrup does when ingested, but I've looked all over for it in here and it's nowhere to be found. If it's not in here, then it might be in my room. That would be the next logical place to look. So I'm going to head back to my room and you should come with me, Danny. I have to say, it feels sort of weird, you know, having you right here <laughs> in my room again after all this time. <sighs> Danny? What's wrong? You sort of spaced out there. Knowledge is power. <laughs> so you still remember that, huh? I figured that after going back to the human world, you'll probably start to forget about all of us here in Double Them. Guess that's not the case, huh? I have to admit, that makes me sort of happy. Now I'm pretty sure the book I'm thinking of was somewhere around here. Feet? I don't know. Maybe it's by our feet. No? Yes? Oh, okay, that was it. Oh, yeah, it is. Nice job, Danny. Alright, we found what we're looking for. The information we need should be somewhere in this illustrated reference book. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Gold Hellfire Newt Syrup. The term Hellfire Newt refers to a newt reborn in Devil Dome after being consumed by fire in the human world. Right, that's what Levi told us. Hellfire newts are mainly used in remedies and elixirs, meant to restore or revitalize the body. <laughs> of course, of course, and re as well as simulate sexual desire. A number of different remedies contain hellfire newt as an ingredient, and one of those 
And one of the most well-known of these is called Gold Hellfire Newt Syrup. When consumed by demons, the Gold Hellfire Newt Syrup causes a state of infatuation. The state of infatuation. More specifically, it works as a potent uh, aph aphrodisiac, causing demons to experience very powerful sexual urges. Oh. Oh. Uh, how many of y'all ate that? Uh, how, how many of y'all ate that soup? Did all of y'all eat the soup? Um. Interesting. <laughs> I can't stand this, bro. Oh, notably, this heightened sexual desire is felt towards humans only. It is currently unknown why the effect is limited to humans. The serum's effect wears off after a few days in a majority of cases. In certain instances, however, it is, <laughs> it is reported to have persisted for upwards of 200 years. If a demon has forged a pact with- Oh, gosh. If the demon has forged a pact with a human, the serum's effect can be neutralized. Oh, okay, by carrying out an order issued by the human master. Presently, this is the most effective. No means of curing demons of his influence. Oh. Why are you blushing, Zayden? <laughs> so are they all just gonna, gonna be trying to get in my drawers now? <laughs> I guess that answers our question. So it, it works as a potent afro uh, di diciac. Oh my gosh. Satan, please. <laughs> I have noticed that since we got here, I started to feel some really intense urges. Whenever I look upon you, sort of like a fire flaring up inside of me. Now, it all makes sense. That's one really powerful serum. Well, Danny, uh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? That you hope that I'm ready for us to come? What does that mean? Yeah, it only works on demons. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable to think that the syrup that Levi bought and made me use in his soup turned out to be something like that. Bro, what you mean? Would I like to find out how powerful the effect really is? How? Yeah, what do you mean, sir? Huh? Like... What, you trying to do something? <laughs> you really don't know? Or are you just pretending not to know? Well, don't worry. You're about to find out exactly what I mean. Wait, hold up. Satan, hold up. What? Uh... So, Danny, what have you been doing up in the human world since you left here? Did you miss us? Or rather, what I mean is, did you wish you could see me? Of course, Satan. Of course I did. I love you. <laughs> that fire inside of me just started to burn even hotter. So, what do <laughs> me to know bro do with you uh, uh, oh what's going on uh. <sighs> see I, I need a picture of this I need to see it happening this is my only it, it's not my only problem but this is one of my problems with this game is that they ain't got no no visuals you know Oh gosh, what's your next move, Danny? You're backed up against a giant pile of books. Want a false move, then you'll send the whole thing tumbling to the ground. And then the cleanup. Oh! The, the cleanup is going to be a nightmare. The floor is now littered with books, which seem to be... <laughs> about cats! Hey, why are you looking at me like that? I 
I'm sorry but number one is mammy but Satan is one of the ones actually really like bro so I'm gonna be like you have been cheating on me with cats because it's okay for me to cheat but you've been cheating on me with cats <laughs> If looking at pictures of cats and books counts as cheating on you, then I guess. <laughs> Are you actually jealous of the cats? That's really cute, Danny. <laughs> so what do you what do I have to do to get you to forgive me for my little affair? Meow for me. Meow. <laughs> what why would you want me to do that? Do do it now! I mean, you want me to meow for you? Really? Alright, fine, if I have to. Yeah. Honestly, if it had been anyone other than you asking, I never would have done that. Understand? Oh, that, that broke it, did it, though? Wait a minute. That fire that was inside me, it suddenly feels like it's waiting. Wait, didn't the book mention that the blah 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 would wear off if a demon follows an order issued by their master so that's what happened it seems that when i did as you just said just now it counts on my syrup's effects now i can tell you one thing go f f go hellfire newt syrup is very powerful since it was me you were dealing with things turned out all right but if it had been someone else listen to me daddy you need to make sure none of <laughs> my brothers find you up uh, because there's no telling how they're dealing with the effect of the syrup. Oh gosh. <laughs> See, because I know Satan is a gentleman. That's what I was just trying to figure out. What are you talking about? What you trying to do? You know, but you know, he kept it under control. You know, I got him meow for me. The curse cream buff. <laughs> Danny. What's up? Didn't expect to run into you here. Yeah, how about you? What are you doing here? You mean you don't know? Whenever I leave my room at this hour, it's always for one reason. I'll eat. <laughs> On my way to the kitchen, of course. Because I'm feeling hungry. Dinner was good, but it wasn't nearly enough to fill me up. Of course not. So I thought I'll have a look in the kitchen to see if I could find something for dessert. Why don't you come with me, Danny? What do you say? <laughs> I think Bill will be fine, you know. It'll be fine. His hunger will override it, I think. So you're still feeling hungry too? Huh? I thought so. Alright, let's go. It'll be fine. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure she just would've went anyway, even if I was just like, hmm, I don't know. That's strange. I could've sworn there was still some devil with them cake left over. Guess not. Hmm, maybe we could have this pudding here? Wait, no. It has Lucifer's name on it. Ah, uh, but this one here looks like it's Mammon's, which means it's fair game. <laughs> Dang, bro. I mean, this is Mammon we're talking about. He probably forgot that he brought bought it. And that his and that he wrote his name on it and <laughs> left it in the fridge. We can go ahead and eat it, and eat it. He'll never know it's gone. Probably. <laughs> Ever since you left the double dumb. Every single day I've felt almost like, like I missed out on breakfast. I really missed you. Which is why I'm happy that you're back. Hey Danny, do you remember the time we all went on that retreat to the Demon Lord's castle? You made human world food one of the days we were there, and it was good. Come to think of it, Luke made celestial room food for us too, right? What was that stuff he made called again? I want to say it was honey, um, honey something. Like, it was made using plenty of honey and... That's weird, I feel hungry, but it's a different sort of hunger. 
<laughs> like, this fire is burning beside me. And my heart's pounding too. What's up with it? Well, whatever. Um, what was I talking about again? Honey, I remembered that it was sweet and the honey gave it a really nice scent. You know, Danny, you smell pretty amazing yourself. It's sort of sweet. It almost makes me want Please don't eat me, sir. Please. <laughs> Maybe I should have stayed away from him, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Because I didn't think about the fact that, you know, he might freaking eat me. <laughs> mm? Huh? Danny, I want to know what it's like to do that. I'm just so hungry that I can't take it anymore. Hungry for you. Uh, wait. Oh, you just gonna end the thing right there? There ain't bro. Sorry, Danny. I don't think I can resist any longer. Could I nibble on you just a bit? Just a taste, Danny. No, you can't. How about you nibble on something else? Oh, oh, okay, uh, what you, well, sir, you getting aggressive with me? <laughs> Didn't you hear what I said? It has to be All you, right. otherwise there's no point. Here, I found the cream puff, yeah, eat the cream puff. Yeah. Wait, no, that cream puff. Huh? What the heck just happened? That cream puff was Belfies. And apparently it was cursed so that it would explode if anyone else touched it. But I guess it's a little too late to be telling you that now, huh? Oh, what a waste of perfectly good dessert. That explosion sent whipped cream flying everywhere. Oh, gosh. Come on, man. <laughs> It's all over you too, Danny. You're covered in it from head to toe, which actually makes you look even more delicious than you did before. Gosh dang, man, bro. I should have went with my not minding my business. <laughs> if you were hoping to distract me by grabbing that cream puff, you're playing backfire. I was trying so hard to resist the urge to nibble. But now I see you standing in front of me covered in delicious whipped cream. <laughs> I, I, that's just too much to handle. First things first, we gotta do something about all that whipped cream you've got on you. Otherwise, there's no telling when I might lose control and just... I ain't gonna play with Bill like that. I'm gonna just say go grab me a towel. He'll be good then. Yeah, go grab me a towel. Right, wait here a minute. Alright, I brought you a towel. Now hurry up and clean yourself off. It's killing me see having to see you like that. He should be good now, right? Mm. Hey, Danny. I was really acting weird earlier, huh? So that was Go Hellfire's. So that's what Go Hellfire Newt syrup does to you. But all you had to do was give me an order, and as soon as I obeyed, the effect just disappeared. It almost feels like it never happened. I'm sorry for putting you through that. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, Bill. Hmm, I have to say, this is some good cheesecake. I want some cheesecake. Uh, I don't believe this. You touched my cream puff, didn't you? <laughs> Belfie. <laughs> Dang, well that's the end of um that chapter. And yeah, I'm keeping it to one chapter per video, so that's it. <laughs> 
If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and tune in for next time. See ya. The world always changes around us, but weakness will always remain. Do all the pain, believe it.